the number of people displaced by disasters rose by 40% in 2022 than the year before according to the global report on internal displacement 2023 an internally displaced person is someone who is forced to leave their home because of factors like war conflict natural or man-made disasters for instance the commonality between countries that report a large number of internally displaced people is that they are all thickly populated with a high number in vulnerable populations there are people who are displaced by disasters who remain displaced for weeks months years sometimes there is little data available to actually say how long they are displaced for and in which conditions we are once again recording an extremely high figure which is slightly higher than the number of internal displacement caused by conflict and violence and once again 98% of that figure is actually caused by weather related events the grid 2023 attributes the increase in weather related disasters particularly to the 3 year long la nina which caused widespread disasters across the world in 2018 some 1.6 million people who were displaced by disasters were still in camps or places away from their homes by 2021 30.7 million new displacements were due to disasters disaster related displacement is a global phenomenon this year if i'm correct we're recording the phenomenon in around 150 countries and territories around the world so it's really affecting uh, every country and territory out there it's probably only that some of them we don't have data for this is again the highest figure we've ever recorded in terms of disaster displacements now a lot of these disaster displacements that we recorded were linked with the monsoon floods in Pakistan uh, also with really high levels of uh, storm related flood related disasters across Asia and some countries in the Pacific as well. Uh we also faced unprecedented levels of drought related displacements in other countries. Uh, Somalia for instance recorded really high levels. In 2022, displacement in sub-Saharan Africa is attributed to the threefold increase in disaster displacements. Many of the countries that are facing this type of displacement are also affected by other crises. a crisis linked with food insecurity or conflict and violence um so it's really important to look at the overall picture here and take all of these overlapping factors of vulnerabilities into account when proposing solutions for affected people the east asia and the pacific region recorded less than average displacement due to disasters in south asia the number is double the annual average of 6.3 million for the region Floods accounted for 90% of the region's total disaster displacements. Pakistan, India and Bangladesh were the most affected. Both the food insecurity and the internal displacement levels reached unprecedented highs in 2022. And they had reached unprecedented highs the year before and probably the year before as well. So what does this tell us? It tells us that the approaches we have been using until now are not sustainable. We cannot go on reporting on higher figures year after year. We need to try and take a different look at this issue and actually at these issues together, right? I was mentioning that very often disaster displacement overlaps with other issues like conflict and violence or food insecurity which is the focus of this year's report. 